Hello, hello, and welcome back to my Generate Combat Task series. I know these videos are kind of coming out infrequently, and I'm sorry for that, but the truth is I just play less RuneScape in the summer, and I do less video editing stuff. Most of these clips you're going to see today are from, like, May, and it is currently August, so that's that's how far behind I am. But thank you for being patient. Thank you for bearing with me. Um, and without further ado, let's jump into completing the medium tier. Two-thirds of the way done with the medium tier. Next task is a frozen king. Anyone know what that one is? Kill Dagonoth Rex while he is immobilized. I think he was still frozen. Yeah, there we go. As usual, the hardest part was just getting there and getting the safe spot set up, but the actual task itself was well, a piece of cake. All right, give me a diary. I'm feeling a diary. Haven't done a diary in a while. Or go kill the Chaos Fanatic ten times. All right. Well, he's slow, but he's easy at least. Um, That's probably for doing it without taking damage, I assume? I don't even know. Yeah, I don't know. I'm using Rune Arrows and Magic Shortbow. That's pretty much the best I have right now. My range is definitely the lowest stat, obviously. I only have 70 range, so that's definitely something I'm going to have to get work on. Um, but yeah, no, that's easy enough. Let's go. Oh my god, fuck you. This dude sucks. <laughs> Did he give up? <laughs> ah, what an idiot. Cool, thanks, bro. Now I have to wait two minutes where I can teleport. This is kill number 10. Nothing uh, too exciting happened here. Um, Jesus. Other than that one PKer. If you're wondering, no, I cannot have an Ava's device just yet. I am finally able to do the quest because I can get Ecta tokens because I did the Mauritania Easy Diary, but... Because I'm over over 50 range, when I finish the quest, I will automatically get an upgraded Ava's device. And getting an upgraded Ava's device is part of the Lumbridge Medium Diary. So until I roll a Lumbridge Medium Diary, I can't actually finish the quest and get an Ava's device. I took my hand off the mouse. Okay, we're good. So that's annoying. That would have probably helped a lot in this instance. I mean, you can see my arrows is stacking up. I have to go pick them up after each kill. Oh, I did. Um, I did. I got 72 herb lore, so I can able. I'm able to make ranging potions now, which is nice. That's a nice little boost. Couple more hits here. Look at that with with two two arrows to go. Cool. Chaos fanatic champion. That does sound like me. There's only 15 tasks left in the medium tier, and nine of them are diaries. So, so that means statistically, I'm gonna get the diary right here. Winter toad champion. Okay, <laughs> that's that's 10 winter toad kills. The one thing that I do love about Winter Toad is just the if you're like an early level and you haven't got the any of the Pyromancer outfit yet, like the stuff that you have to wear for the warm gear. <laughs> so I I wear the bear hat, the lava staff, the this rainbow scarf, and then what are these? The glove gloves of silence. I don't even know why I had these in my bank, but you know, and those are the four pieces of warm clothing that I can wear, and it counts as is warm clothing for this. Only two of these games to go. I, I was already at eight, only need ten for this. Winter Toad sucks, but there we go. <laughs> Winter Toad champion. My disdain for it did not prevent me from becoming a absolute champion. Fourteen tasks left and nine of them are fucking diaries, so come on, just give me a fucking diary. There we go. What does that do? I can teleport to Falador. I, oh, yes! <laughs> Falador is so fucking annoying to get to. You guys don't even realize. I use the I use the Berthor minigame teleport, and then I walk all the way there. That's my best way to get there right now. Watch this. So I'm all the way here in Karamja. Oh, I need to get back to Falador. Oh, don't worry. Boom. One click. Teleport to Falador. I'm, you guys don't even understand how excited I am for that. <laughs> it's the little things. 
And here is the medium Falador diary completed. Yeah, so that one obviously got me the Falador teleport, which I already showed you. Very exciting. And then I had, I had to do rat catchers, so I do have those the rat catcher mini game teleports, which I actually use a lot. I don't know if anyone else does, but I use those a lot. And then the other nice thing is that I can now use the crystal chest to get dragon stones if I need to. I have like 40 of those keys stacked up, so. Alright, 75% of the way done. Next up is Lumbridge Medium Diary. Awesome. I was just talking about that. So this will force me to finish Animal Magnetism, which means I can finally get an Ava's device, so I can finally start training range in earnest. But am I not even... Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> I wasn't showing my screen. Here it is. This is going to be like therapeutic to finally remove all these markers I put down. <laughs> this was the first time I ruined my account. Wanted to make sure I didn't do it again. That was a quick one. Wish they were all like that. Um, yeah, I think pretty much the only thing, nice thing that came out of this was getting the Ava's device. The rest of the stuff I unlocked shouldn't really impact me too much. All right, two diaries in a row. Will it be three? It is, Desert Medium Diary. Desert Medium completed. Like I said, it made me do three different quests. And I think because I did the whatever quest, I can upgrade my, my silver light now into a dark light. What was that? Was that four of the last five tasks or diaries? So let's see if we can keep the streak up with Giant Mole Champion. All right, I don't mind this one. I mean, it's... It's annoying. I don't have the hard diary, the hard Falador diary done, obviously, so I don't have the shield that shows you where the mole is, so it's just a lot of running around, but before I jump in and start doing the uh, giant mole task here, I think I'm going to buy a dragon dagger. I Now that I've lost city done, I can actually, I can buy these and I can equip these, and that'll be my best special weapon, you know, special attack weapon I have. Hey, there we go. Maybe. Wait. Yep. Giant Mole Champion. All right. There are 10 tasks left in the medium tier. Five of them are combat achievements and five of them are medium diaries. So let's see what we get. Dagonoth Supreme Champion. All right. Uh, Supreme has ended up being... Dude, go up the fucking ladder. Supreme has ended up being... Very hard to do. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'm gonna try to squeak out this kill here, but I'm guessing it's not gonna work. Yeah, I don't, it's just, it's so hard to just attack him without the other three. So usually this is what I end up doing, right? Is attack him and just tank his hits and pray against the magic and <laughs> just try to kill him as fast as I can. Um, this actually looks like it might work. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. As long as the melee doesn't come over. Sweet. All right, that should be kill number 10. Didn't get shit, of course. Let's get the fuck out of here. Oof, yeah, that that may have been the hardest one in the medium tier for me, just with the gear I have um, and, you know, not not using an alt and whatever. That, that one took a long time. I only had to kill him 10 times, and that honestly probably took me six or seven trips. Like, I was... <laughs> If I could get two kills in a trip, that was pretty good. Normally, I would get one kill, and then I'd have to teleport out because I was already out of food and out of prayer and everything. So, Next up, Crazy Archaeologist Champion. All right, that's back in the wilderness. Not too bad. I only had to kill him six more times since it took me four tries to do the first task <laughs> without uh, getting hit by a special attack. Um, yeah, so this one pretty quick. I still, I just hate <laughs> fighting him in this area because there's so much shit you have to dodge around and like, I keep getting like pathed into him while I like, run next to him and he came with his melee attack and, I don't know, yeah, it's just very, like, I know it's supposed to be a simple boss, but I'm making it much harder on myself, I'm sure, but, there we go. For some nice white berries, worth it. Got the two crossbows, I guess, which, yeah, that's... Nice drop, but other than that, why are you killing him? There's no reason to ever kill him. I feel like we're probably going to get some diaries to close this out. Never mind. Frozen foe from the past. That is killing an ancient wyvern, I believe. Just killing him once, so yeah, this should take no time at all. 
I think I've had these guys blocked as a Slayer task forever because killing them is a task. You'll see once I kill them. I think it's a uh, Falador hard, hard task. Um, so I guess that's that's nice that it, if I do ever have to train Slayer again, I can I can unblock that and I can kill these guys because I know they, they can be pretty good money. There we go. Um, frozen foe from the past. Wyvern bones. Falador hard task. Easy. Seven tasks and five of them are diaries, so there it is. Western Province Medium Diary. Alright. I don't Oh shit, this one might be monkey madness. Holy fuck. These monkeys sure are mad. That's is that even why they call the quest? I don't know. Anyways, yeah, I had to do monkey madness, like I said. I also had to do one small favor, which we all know is a very long quest, so lots of long quests for this one, but some good rewards out of both of them. Alright, it took like 10 seconds to go and finish up the rest of this diary then. So here is our reward. Very nice. Almost 90% done with the medium tier. Brutal, big, black, and fiery. That is killing a brutal black dragon. So, where are those? And just to tie this all together, look, I'm even using... My rune crossbow I got from the crazy archaeologist, so, eh, not, not completely useless boss, I guess. Man, these things are fucking tanks. Or I just suck. I definitely gotta get my ranging up. I keep talking about that. That's gonna be the new, like, fragility where I talk about it every episode, but I never actually train it. There we go. That took forever, dude. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, I'm gonna leave this way so I can unlock this little route whatever I think all that is left oh all right check it off your bingo card use a siren maybe my neighbors are just pranking me and every time they hear me recording they like call 911 so they drive by next up Corrin and Cabos medium diary so like I said that one took no time at all because I'd already done like half of the tasks the major one that I got was that I can now enter the farming guild. More herb lore XP. It's a very nice way to train herb lore, is just doing all this shit that I should have done a thousand levels ago. Will I get Obor or will I get one of the three diaries? I will get Ardoin Medium. What the hell are you supposed to do with the creature creation thing here? Anyways, kill the sword chick. And that was the last part. We are done with the Ardoin Medium Diary. A lot of questing there. Had to do Sand in the Hand, had to do Enlightened Journey, and I had to finish up. Well, I didn't have to finish up, but I, I finished up Watchtower Quest. Alright, so for those of you keeping track at home, that, why would anyone do that? All that's left is the Mauritania Medium, the Varrock Medium, and killing Obor one more time. There it is. Kill Obor one more time. Cool. One more Obor kill to get the 5kc and to finish this task. <laughs> Was that like 6 his? Man, that's fast. Nice. Obor champion and all combat achievement tasks in the medium tier completed. What? Where's my... Oh, my God. Oh, I don't have any teleports. <laughs> All right. Home teleport it is. Uh, I've completed a combat tier. Medium combat tier. Sweet. Gommel's Hilt, which I think can teleport me. Yeah, teleport me to Trollheim. I think some of the later ones actually have stats. I don't... They kind of look cool. Like, maybe? I don't know. I don't know. Alright, so Varrock or Mauritania, Mauritania. Alright, let's go do some quests. Alright, while well, I'm waiting for my minigame teleport to recharge, very pleasing. Have both easy and medium done. Um, the other things you get for the medium tier is that 5% uh, increase medium clue scrolls, which isn't bad. Um, and then more Slayer boss, uh, higher Slayer boss kill cases i mean you can read whatever it says i can't talk and then if, if we just scroll through the bosses here so briafita is completely done deranged archaeologist completely done obor completely done that's it 
As I alluded to, the Mauritania Medium Diary is quite heavy on the questing. There's five total quests I had to finish. Rum Deal, Cabin Fever, Haunted Mine, In Search of the Myreek, and In Aid of the Myreek. I don't care how you're supposed to pronounce it, I pronounce it Myreek. Uh... Not really sure. <laughs> Okay, that was the weirdest thing. He was just laying down flat like that for like five minutes, and I kept trying to hit him, and then finally, like, I don't know, like his health must have regen, and I was able to hit him. I don't know. That was funny. All right, Mauritania Medium Diary was actually fucking awesome. I didn't realize how much stuff I get unlocked with this. So I have I have Bird Durot Bank unlocked now, which will help a ton for Barrows and Shades of Morn. And I can also do temple trekking now, so I can go and get the, uh, the Lumberjack outfit for woodcutting, which I probably will do at some point. Uh, I can get to most Mostly Harmless, which there's a ton of clue steps that have to bring you there, that for, which is really dumb. But anyway, so I can do those clue steps. I still can't get the Black Mask because killing a Cave Horror is a hard task, and I can't do that yet i mean yeah well I had, so i had to do the whole haunted mine and the layer of time oh so i got i got a um uh uh amulet uh, shade amulet no what the fuck did i just get shard amulet am i that drunk Selv amulet all right Selv amulet that's another big one that is useful for things <laughs> All right, if you want me to go through the motions of rolling the next task, but literally all I have left is the Varak Medium Diary. I need a Slayer task from Vanica. Oh, gargoyles. That's a, that's a lot of gargoyles. Cool, that's a good one. And now, at long last, finally, teleport to Varak. I am well aware of the irony of <laughs> that is like literally the the latest I could have possibly unlocked that on this account. You know, the very last task in the medium tier was the Varrock Diary. So teleporting to Varrock has been like the one that I wanted the longest and the one that would, you know, be one of the most useful ones for me. And I got it as late as I possibly could. But hey, better late than never. Let me fall off this last rooftop here for my very first completion of the Varrock Rooftop Course, and also the entire Varrock Medium Diary. Put the lamp on Herblore as per usual. 73 Herblore. You know what's coming. Yeah, I've got some caskets stacked up. Two mystery boxes, ten beginners, uh, two easies, one medium, and two hards. Back to back still baguettes to start. Flyer. No, I mean, diamond's probably relatively rare. Beginner clues. Spam click these. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Trimmed amulet of defense. If that was at all a useful amulet, that would be pretty cool. I mean, it looks cool. It's unique. I'll take it. Okay. Two easies. Nothing. Mm, wow, fire lighters. No need. One medium. Ranger boots? No, but a cat mask. Better than ranger boots. Is that a unique too, the helmet? Yeah, two uniques in one box. I'll take it. <laughs> okay, wearing this for the rest of the opening. Bring me good luck. Although, this is <laughs> this is also pretty dope. Two hearts. Sick. Rune Kite Shield Gilded. Dude, these look so cool. I wish I wish I could just wear this to like a Slayer task. Look how cool that looks. And some Elka Bowls. Alright, all in all, I mean what, that was four uniques? Wait, we're gonna be, no, one beginner, two mediums, and one hard? I mean, hey, cool, fun, good shit. So as we bask in the glory of my useless cosmetic items, this is going to wrap up the medium tier as well as this episode. Next up we will be taking on the hard tier where things will start getting, you guessed it, hard. Like and subscribe and I'll see you soon.